Okay, so uh, for modeling of plants, for modeling of plants, right, uh, you have to choose a plant, right, that is, uh, if for beginners, uh, you want to choose something that is relatively easy, right? You do not want to choose a plant, right, with so many leaves, right, then you have to spend a lot of time modeling it. Okay, so I think there is a class of plants, right, called a ficus, which is, a generic term right to describe uh, this class of plants okay so for me I want to find one right that has very big leaves right so that will doesn't take too much time like this one here okay this one looks manageable and in fact this is a I think this is a fake fake uh, house plant made of rubber Well, actually, no. It's a real, it's a real plant, <laughs> Ficus elastica. So that means this is actually a rubber tree plant, right? So I'm gonna use this picture as a reference. So I'm gonna save this image. Okay, again, I got annoying wet P format. So I already installed this uh, save image as plugin, save image as type. So I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. Then I'm gonna put it inside my project folder. Assignment 1 folder, source images, put it under research and save. Okay, so now I got my reference. I'm going to throw that reference into my Maya scene. I'm going to start a new scene. And also prepare the image so that it is not uh, compressed or distorted. So, whatever image references that you want. To use, okay, please make sure. Okay, I think I put this in the wrong folder. Let me just cut this out. Let me put it into this one. Yeah. There you go. This this is the one I want to put here. Okay. So I'm gonna right mouse click and open up the image in uh, Photoshop. Okay, let's see. Where is the image? Yeah, there you go. Right mouse click on this open with Photoshop uh, basically just want to convert the canvas into a square all right so the image is loaded up so click on image canvas size in Photoshop to change it into a square Okay, again, Photoshop is also delayed because it needs some time to load. So I already clicked the button, but it's not responding. All right, finally, go and click on canvas size, copy the long side, paste over the short side, then save this image or export as PNG. Okay, I'm going to call it plant reference. Okay, now create a plane within Maya. Then go and click on the inputs in your channel box and then reduce the uh, number of segments. <coughs> okay, right mouse click, assign new material, go to surface shader and apply a surface shader. Click on the out color checker box, choose file. Click on the folder, go to your source images and look for the plant reference, which is here. Then press number 6 on your viewport, you should be able to see the image. Using rotate, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, then just put it back. I'm going to use that as my reference. So I'm going to just reposition this in the front view so I can see this. Okay, for creating this pot, it's very simple. It's just a cylinder. I'm going to create the uh, base pot first from the cylinder. And... This cylinder, let me just give it a bit more sides. Give it about 36. And select the central faces. Go to vertex mode, select the central vertex. Holding down the control key, right mouse click. To faces, to faces. Then go and extrude. Then go and apply a scale to scale this down. Okay, rather, I'm us rather than using offset, then extrude again. And then just push down the center to create the pot. 
Now if you want to create some fake soil, right, just uh, push it down uh, just a little bit like this. Then right mouse click go to select all the top vertices here and scale it uniformly outwards. But be careful of the inner vertices. I just only want to select the what do you call that? The top rim vertices and then scale it non-uniformly like that. Right, so I got something similar to this part over here. Okay, so this is my standing pot. So how to do the plant? So let's study the plant carefully. So this one is relatively simple. It is a, a plant right there. It's like a stalk that goes up like this. But you study the stem carefully right there. are some branches that are coming out of it with uh, leaves, right, that come out uh, in a, almost a regular pattern. Okay, it's, all, uh, it's rotating about, I guess, maybe uh, every 35 degrees as it goes up. So you can imagine that this is a circular uh, steps as you go up uh, the, the plant stalk. So every time before you start modeling, right, you always want to analyze the picture and then uh, figure out approach to it. Now for the uh, center stalk, right, uh, basically we can build it out of a cylinder with multi-segments and we can add some uh, irregularity, right, by moving the central edges. So let's start with the central stock first by creating a cylinder. So I'll create a cylinder. So for this cylinder, we don't need such a large number of segments. We're going to reduce the subdivision. Okay, somehow my, <coughs> my edit level settings, right? Let me just go to multi-cut. No, sorry, not multi-cut. Let me undo that. I need to go straight into an extrude, right? Let's say an extrude face. Okay, I just need to increase. Okay, this thing is causing my numbers, right, to be very, very slow. So I need to increase the value to make it more sensitive to this level. Okay, then I'm going to undo that extrude. But at least now, if I were to change the number of segments on this, it should be much faster now. Yes. All right. So now go to reduce this down to maybe 12. And um, I'm just going to modify this straight away. I'm going to just grab the top vertices here in edit mode. Okay, and I'm going to scale them down first. Then I'm going to move all these vertices up until they look like a cone, like that. Then next, I'm just going to insert edge loop one by one around here. I'm going to do one edge loop here. Okay, one edge loop inserted, then we are going to select it. Double click this edge loop and scale it down. I'm going to proceed up and do another edge loop. Press Q to select, hold on to shift right mouse click, use multi cut. We can do multi cuts of edge loops intermittently like this. Then for the top part here, I'm going to scale this down until it's become almost a sharp point. Then this one, scale it down a little bit, then press move to change uh, the orientation a little bit. So just to give it a little bit of unevenness, scale, then press W, then move it here like that. Maybe this one has to scale up a little bit more. Okay, the bottom versus this, this part is a bit too thick. Just gonna, oops, bring it down. Okay, this reference, right, I'm gonna make it, put it inside a layer so that it doesn't get interfered in my modeling. Scale this down slightly. Right, so now I've got this sort of uh, uneven branch. Okay, so we can continue uh, to tweak it by selecting the edge loop here and moving it around. So to give it some natural growth and look. Okay. Now, right now you can see the cylinder, the sides here are very segmented. So select this, go to mesh display and then apply a soften edge. Right, so now we've got this uneven looking branch. 
Now creating the leaf, right? How do you create the leaf? No, let's take a look, close look at the leaf here. The leaf, right, you can start off with a uh, outline of a shape, right? So if you take a look at it, right, uh, the leaf shape from the top, right, looks something like this. Everybody knows how to draw a leaf, okay? So there's a center line that goes in like that, and then there will be segments, right, that goes up like this. Now, if you take a look at the cross section from the front view of the leaf, you notice that there is a slight curvature to it. So in order to have a curvature, we know that we need to add segments to the leaf, right? So there's not enough, right, uh, over here. So that means, right, we'll need to have segments that run in from here all the way to here, like that. So that means running down from the leaf, right, there must be at least, at least one or two segments which you can pull up to create this curve. So let's concentrate on making one leaf first. Now for more complicated plants, right, then uh, you will have to manage it a little bit differently. So let's concentrate on the leaf. Okay, I'm going to use the Create Polygon tool in the top view. And I'm going to draw my leaf. I'm going to draw a simple leaf first. I'll start from the base of the leaf. Okay, two faces, two vertices here. And notice how I draw the vertices. You want to make sure that there's always an even number, okay, that you can connect, right? Two at the, the tip and then two at the base, all right? Then I'm going to press enter to finish the cut. Okay, if your face is black, so just go and select the object. Just go and go to uh, mesh display and reverse it. Okay, now we're going to insert one edge loop in the center. Okay, basically you have to use the cutting tool, so click to cut to the center. Now before I do that, uh, let's see. Okay, I need to cut from this edge first. Go to vertex, uh, sorry, yeah, edge mode. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Now I'm in my top view right now. Start from this vertex and cut all the way to the bottom here. Then I'm going to do the same for this one. Then we can cut across here. Okay, make sure you start from the vertex. Make sure it's red, then go to the end here. Make sure it's red, then cut, and press enter. Okay, so right now we created a very low resolution leaf. We got a couple of three-sided faces, but we can fix that later. So right now we're gonna go over to uh, object mode and perspective mode. So create the leaf. You just need to select the central faces here. <coughs> okay, we're just going to pull it down slightly first. So we can see that the leaf right is starting to form. Then to create the curvature, right, you have to select the central edge here. Pull out a little bit. This one, pull out a little bit. Okay, and if you want it to bend a little bit more, you can, right now I'm just doing it manually. Huh? You can go to vertex mode, grab the central vertex, and then just move it out like that. Okay, now looking at front view. So if I want the leaf to have that nice curvature, right, I'm going to select the central vertices and just pull it down like this. Right, so you have something like this. If I press number three now, right, you can see that now I have the leaf. Now, if you want to have the thickness, right, you can select all the faces and extrude it out. Now, I'm going to fine tune the modeling a little bit. Go to level one. And for the tip, right, I'm just going to move it closer. I want to create a narrower uh, stem in the center. And then for this particular edge here, right, later I can uh, extrude out to form the stem. Okay, so I'm going to insert one edge loop here. And one edge loop here. So now I fixed the problem of the four-sided face. Then I can select these edges. And move it this way. So that now my leaf, right, also have that curvature. So if I press number three now, you can see that it has that curvature that I want to look for in the plant, right? 
So you can tweak this leaf further if you want. Like if you want a wider leaf, you can just make it wider, pull it out. Okay, so once you have the one single leaf, right, then the rest is a matter of duplicating multiple copies of this and then uh, putting them around the branch. So we know that the leaf right, has a, a stem that sticks out from the bottom here. So going back to level one, I'm going to select the edge here. Select this edge here and then extrude it out using the quick extrude method. Holding down the shift and then extrude out one stem like that. All right, to give it definition, we're going to insert one edge loop right in the center. Go and select, double click to select this center edge, press W and then pull it down so that we have this stem looking like this. Now to give it thickness, like what I said, Okay, make sure that you are, you are double sure that your leaf is, this is what you want. Okay, but I will suggest, right, go ahead and create a copy, right, the, and then keep the original as the master. So I'm going to call the original master leaf. So that I can come and generate new leaf from this one again. So the copy, right, I'll call this leaf underscore zero one now I want to give it some thickness so double click on it and extrude then just adjust the thickness until you like it not too much maybe 0 0.05 okay that's more than enough right so we got a thickness for the leaf ready then for the end of the faces here we can Select this face. I'm going to scale it flat and then delete it. Delete the way the face is. So later we're going to reposition our pivot point here. Go to object mode. Press D and reposition the vertex right until it's aligned here. All right, so I'm going to use the align tool and align it here. Then right mouse click on it. Then reset pivot orientation. So right now, my leaf right or, uh, is pivoted here so that I can adjust it later on. <laughs> right, so next is a simple matter of duplicating multiple copies and then putting them on this uh, surface here. So I'm going to position this back to the center. Go to the channel box and we will start at the uh, bottom first. So the bottom one, I'm going to scale this up a little bit more. And I'm going to put this right in the center here. Now we can go ahead and adjust this later on. And start from the top view here. Stick one leaf here. Okay, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Then this stem move it up a little bit. Okay, so here come the fun part. Top view. We're going to use the duplicate special. Edit, duplicate special. Okay, so we're going to move the plant, the leaf up and also rotate at the same time. Okay, how many copies? Maybe we try eight and scale, reset back to one. So we're going to move it up maybe every, uh, in the X, the Y axis, X, Y. So maybe move it up every, okay, I want to see how much I want to see how much right I should move. So I'm going to select the leaf and then looking at the values here. Okay, the leaf right now, the scale is a bit off. I'm going to freeze the transformation. Okay, so as I move the leaf up, right, maybe I think every point one, every one unit will be good enough. All right, so that's good enough information for me. So edit duplicate special again. So I'm going to move it every up one unit X, Y, so Y unit one. So we're going to duplicate it eight times, eight times, and maybe we want to rotate it every, uh, I don't know, 40 degrees. Let's try 40 degrees around the well, Y axis as well. Let's just experiment first and then see what happens. And okay, it is uh, rotating a bit 
too little. Okay, let me try again. Okay, I want to experiment. How much should I rotate? Uh, okay, it should be minus, maybe every minus 60 degrees. Okay, let's try that again. Edit, duplicate special, option box. Minus 60. And every time it duplicates one, it will move up one unit and also you rotate uh, every 60 degrees. So I'm going to try it one more time. Yeah. So now you can see it rotates up. Okay, and also you notice that some plants, right, the leaves on top are smaller. So I'm going to undo this. And I'll try the duplicate special again. The same values will do fine. But scale, maybe I want to scale them down every point. 0 0.9, let's try. That means as it goes up, right, it will scale down bit by bit. Duplicate special. Okay, so you can see the top leaves are smaller as it goes up. Okay, maybe 0 0.9 is a bit too much. Let me undo. One last time, duplicate special. Let's try 0 0.98. So that it changes just a little bit. So remember the pivot point, everything is very important. You need to make sure that it is at the tip of the stem. Okay, then now I can duplicate. All right. So at this stage, right, if you feel that, oh, this leaf is too big, I can still scale it down manually and if you feel that oh this is too even i can rotate it to break up the evenness all right and then once you're happy with this right you can select all of this then mesh combine and position your pot in the center parent the plant to the pot oops And that's it. You created your potted plant. If I press number three, my, my pot will okay, become subdivided like that. But yeah, that's how you create the ficus plant. Okay, that's the basic idea. Okay, I'm going to stop the video now and I'm out of time.